A facility full of platforms that once fit NASA's space shuttles like a glove is transitioning to make room for a new fleet of low Earth orbit bound vehicles. The Boeing Company's CST-100 spacecraft. Phase one, which is happening now, is the demolition phase, where we're removing the old orbiter processing stands and the old uh, space shuttle main engine processing stands. The second phase is our modernization phase, where we'll uh, put all the facility and infrastructure in for our clean factory concept. The project at the newly named C-3PF, short for Commercial Crew and Cargo Processing Facility, began as an innovative partnership between NASA's Kennedy Space Center and Space Florida to give excess government facilities a new purpose. There is an emerging commercial space industry uh, that in, even NASA will depend in part on for uh, transport of its cargo and astronauts back and forth to the station and other destinations in low Earth orbit. Boeing is one of three companies working with NASA's commercial crew program to develop integrated spacecraft and launch vehicle systems for the United States. All three have chosen to base launch operations along Florida's space coast. Location, location, and location. If you can be building your spacecraft close to the point of launch, you gain significant advantage in the marketplace. The CST-100 is designed to lift off atop United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket from Cape Canaveral Air Force Station's Launch Complex 41, a little more than seven miles from the C-3PF. It'll leave right from this facility straight to the launch vehicle for integration. Boeing is on track to take up residency at Kennedy in the summer of 2013, bringing with it about 550 engineering and technical jobs. We're very uh, uh, excited to be able to be a part of NASA's human spaceflight and uh, growing the commercial base uh, for future um, low Earth orbit operations.